So here we go. Hey, what is up guys and welcome back. So I haven't been this excited for a package in a very, very long time or I've actually never been this excited for a package. So what we have today is our first prototype of the open hardware flight controller sponsored by PCBWay. Huge shout out to PCBWay for sponsoring this project and also the contributors that are to come once I release the schematics as well as the PCB design so you can customize your own flight controller. So like I said, this is the first beta and uh, let's go ahead and crack this open. All right, so as you can tell here, they do some kind of vacuum sealing here, vacuum sealing process. So let's crack this open. What else do they have inside? They also gave us some PCB way stickers, which is really awesome. So yeah, let's put this to the side now. So everything is really nicely protected and packaged. So let's put this to the side here and let's crack this guy open. All right, so let's go ahead and open this. All righty. Gotta be careful opening this so you don't damage the board or scratch up the boards a little. There we go. Really nicely packaged. All right, so as you can tell here, the quality is looking superb as expected. And uh, this is the reason why I choose PCB way. And plus they're sponsoring the project, which is really awesome. So as you can tell here, this is the Drone Mesh OpenFC version. Point 0.1, actually it's point 0.3 by now. I've modified it slightly. This is currently on one ounce copper. Uh, the second version will be on the two ounce copper. And uh, what we're gonna do right now is uh, begin building it. So I'm gonna build the first quick prototype and then see if everything's working. And um, yeah, we put it on a quad cop and actually take this out for a flight. So as you can tell right here, this is where the MPU 6000 gyro would go, microcontroller unit, and the other capacitors, which will be available in the uh, bomb list, so you'll know each one where it goes. Here we have the resonator, which I've salvaged the other day. I've salvaged actually quite a few components. And let me see where I have placed them. I think they're in this here. Yeah, they're right here. All right, so as you can tell here, I've salvaged some from other flight controllers, and we're going to go ahead and start by applying some of this stuff, such as the gyro, because the gyro is a little bit expensive. I think it's around six bucks. So what I started doing is just salvaging from uh, broken flight controllers, which were contributed to the channel. So I'm going to begin building this. I don't know if I'm going to create a build video just yet, but uh, I'm going to build the first prototype, see if everything's working, and then we take it from there. All right, so before continuing on, a huge shout out to our sponsor, PCBWay, for sponsoring our open hardware flight controller. This is a great place to have your PCB manufactured as well as assembled with great quality and fast service. They also provide a 24-hour ex express service if you are in a hurry and want your projects in your hands as soon as possible. You can also check their shared project page if you're looking for some fun DIY kits contributed by other users. And they also hold a lot of events and some PCB contents, which you could actually win cash prizes for. I do highly recommend you check out PCBWay. And to check out PCB Way, check the links down below. All right, guys. So right now, this is the moment of truth. I just cleaned up the pads from the flight, con the microcontroller unit. I'll create a separate build video for this. I just couldn't wait, and it was very difficult with the camera in my face. And I wanted to get this right right now. So moment of truth. I'm going to put up the sound as high as possible on the PC. And we do have LEDs, which I had to salvage from DIY kit because I lost the ones that I purchased. So here we go. Oh, that is awesome. Okay, so the flight, the, this flight controller had a, pretty much a software already on it before. So I'm going to try to connect into beta flight. It actually connects. That's just crazy. So, okay, so it's actually working right now. And the gyro is 100% responding to all of my inputs. So I'm just trying to figure out the orientation. All right, so yeah, the orientation is as follows. The USB is on the right, which I've completely forgot which side I should place it on. So this is the correct orientation, so there should be an arrow here. That is just amazing. So let's test something else right now. So now that we know that it's working here, uh, what I'm going to do is apply an LED to each signal from the ESCs, and this way we will know if the ESC is actually outputting, uh, if the, the pins on the if microcontroller is outputting to the correct motor here. So instead of building it real quick because the weather is absolute crap, but I will be building this, I think, tomorrow morning. So into a quadcopter or just replacing one. Uh, as you can tell here, I didn't put the boot button because I didn't have one that exactly fits this, but you can always just short it if you need it. However, I didn't because this already had a beta flight because I salvaged this microcontroller unit from a different flight controller so what i'm going to do now is install leds let me go find some leds i'm going to put them here and then we're going to see if this actually works in beta flight if it does then um this is amazing it really is amazing i i, I actually i truly cannot believe that this actually worked um, um i don't know 
thank you guys for your support. This is this has been absolutely a crazy ride, and this is just the beginning. So, um, yeah, I thank you guys for everything. Really, if it wasn't for you, I really would not be here today. All right, let me go grab the LEDs. I'll be right back, guys. All right, guys. So I've gone ahead and soldered LEDs to the motor pads. The yeah, the motor pads or the signals. Uh, the reason for that is is because it already outputs voltage, and if you set it into PWM and increase it. It'll give it that it's increasing the voltage, thus the LED will actually get brighter so we know if the motor outputs are actually working in the correct order and that they are connected. So that's what we're going to test right now. But before continuing on, the way that I've built this, if you take a look here, because this will be very useful in the next video, is I have labeled everything. I know it looks really ugly in labeling, but this is actually what's going to help you when you build it to make things a lot easier because if you take out the... Uh, bill of material list and print it out. It's an Excel sheet here. As you can tell, it'll tell you 0.1 microfarad for C11G and C13G. G underscore G is the gyro. So this way you'll know where to look. So you don't have to look all over the board. So here's the gyro. And we said what? C11 and C13. So C is a capacitor. So here's C13. Sorry, this is C13 and this is C11 right there. And those two are the 0.1 microfarad. Now the 2.2 nanofarad capacitor was C12G. So it's kind of like a puzzle. So you have to find C12G, which is supposed to be by the gyro since the G, and it's right there. So that is perfect. Now let's go to something else. Here we have C16 VREG, which is 10 microfarad. So C16 VREG, this is the voltage regulator, and as you can tell, there's C16 VREG and C17 VREG, which is right there. 17 v reg and that's how that's how i was able to build it the uh, resistors are super tiny but um with with some solder paste and um and tweezers you can just get it in just perfect i didn't have to do anything i just placed everything after i set up the solder paste which i used also a silk screen which i had over it and then i just dapped it over and it went everywhere perfect and i'll show you that in the next build video uh which me will see me build one a complete one now if you're asking for resistors and uh, capacitors, how did I buy them all? I actually bought these uh, from Banggood here. As you can tell, they give you this book. See, this is 0402. This is the size, really tiny, tiny, tiny. I mean, like super tiny. Can you tell how small that is? That's just crazy. And uh, it has everything. It has all the values here, which is really nice. And this is the book I was going through. I was seeing, okay, where do I need a 22 ohm resistor, for example, for the USB? So here's a eight resistor. Where's the 22 ohm? So here's a 22 ohm resistor. So I would just pull this sheet right here and take how many I needed. As you can tell, there's two missing there. It was going to be very difficult. And those were the two for the USB that I took out. So I pulled this out, took the two, and then uh, placed those right there uh, by the uh, USB, which is those two right there for D plus and D minus, which is the data so we can talk to the microcontroller unit. All right, enough talking. Let's plug it into the PC and um, see if this will work. So let's go ahead. So we should see the LEDs light up, and once we go into the motors tab, we should be able to control the brightness. Okay, that's a perfect sign right out of the box. Now I'm going into the motors tab here. There we go. We're going to connect. Motors. It's on PWM. All right, enable. And now I'm going to... Can you see that? I don't know if you guys can see that on camera. Full throttle, zero throttle. I'm going to do motor one, which should be the one on the bottom. Perfect. That's full throttle, zero throttle. Motor two, the green LED is fucked up, but you can kind of see it move. There it is. Okay, and then we have three. There we go, motor three, which is the yellow one. And motor red is gonna be the fourth. And that is all working as planned and absolutely perfect. And the gyro is picking up in the, in the what is it called? In the uh, beta flight, which is just phenomenal. And then all you need is this, just print it out with the XL. I'll have a link to everything down below if you wanna build yours. Um, this is the first prototype. There's going to be other revisions to come, but when you order it, I'll leave a link down below. Order it as one ounce copper um, because of the size of the traces are too small for two ounce. And uh, this was just, um, this is just amazing. So this is going to be part one. And I am just absolutely amazed how this was actually, this actually worked from the first ever board I've designed of a flight controller which is just absolutely phenomenal and I can't wait to see where this is going to go. So I will be releasing the schematics on part two when I'm building this. So keep make sure you keep an eye on this project. And uh, obviously since the PCB works here and uh, the schematic obviously works because it's working perfect as you can tell right there. And um, 
it's going to be pretty interesting. It's going to be really interesting, actually. So I'll leave a link to this one down below. You can go ahead and order it from PCBWay. And uh, part two will be me building this. I'll show you the process of building this and what I salvaged from other flight controllers. And uh, what I salvaged basically was microcontroller units, the resonators, uh, and the gyro and everything else. I, I even salvaged the microcontroller, uh, the USB here. I, I bought some, but... I just found one that I salvaged was good and I just placed it and it works. So I didn't really have to buy anything except just two resistor books. You're going to need an 0805 and an 0403 resistor book and an 0805 capacitor book. And then you're going to need uh, just a regulator. And I'll have a link to everything down below. And um, yeah, this is absolutely phenomenal. I just can't wait to actually build it and go fly it. Unfortunately, tomorrow we have snow, but I never hover indoors. But I think this one I'll give it a try, possibly. But maybe we can just build it with no props on and then see how it'll perform, if it'll boot up. And theoretically, it should boot up just fine. And, well, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Stay tuned. There's a lot more coming right now. I'm going to have the basic anatomy of a flight controller and helping you start the playlist of building your own flight controller. I'll do a little bit of modifications and begin the process immediately. And um, yeah, I just really wanted to share this with you guys. I was absolutely amazed and uh, surprised. This thing just arrived three, three hours ago. And right now it's like, uh, no, actually it arrived more than that. Um, but um, I just had to build it and see if it actually works. And to see it working is just something out of this world. Uh, I can't explain it. And well, thank you guys for all the support. Make sure you check out PCBWay. They're the ones that are sponsoring this and making this all possible. And I'll leave a link to everything down below. When you order it, make sure you order it as one ounce copper. And um, yeah, you can choose whatever color you want. And uh, this was an absolute success. And expect a lot more to come. This was just a beta quick test. And um, uh, it's just it was just absolutely phenomenal. And well, that's it, guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. And if you guys like this type of content, please consider joining my Patreon. And really support the channel. Also, check the links down below. Those greatly support the channel as well. We'll keep this project going. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.